free throws in that fourth quarter? What did you Thank say? you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. That's what? that's that's outrageous. What happened tonight? This is completely BS. This is shame. Shame for the referees, shame for the league to allow this. 23 free throws for them, and we get two free throws in, in the fourth quarter. Like, how to play the game. I, all, I understand uh, respect for all stars and all of that, but we have star players on our team as well. How's possible is Scotty Barnes, who is all-star caliber player in this league, he goes every single time to the rim with force and trying to get, get uh, to, to the rim without flopping and, and not trying to get foul calls. He gets two uh, free throws for the whole game. How is that possible? How are you going to explain that, that, that to me? They had to win tonight? If that's, if that's the case, just let us know so we don't show up for the game. Just give them a win. But that, that was not fair tonight. And this is not happening first time for us. Scotty Barnes is going to be all-star. He's going to be the face of this league. And what, what's happening over here during whole season, I've been holding you back. It's a complete crap. Coach, do you feel like you're getting any explanations at all? That offensive foul, did you did you see like get any explanation? No, no, there is no explanation. They just they just come up there, they review what and they see what they want to see. They don't want to hear us what we got to say. They don't want to hear the players. They they they, they don't just want to protect us. Over again, they got 36 free throws, 23 free throws in, in the fourth quarter. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? How are we gonna supposed to play? It's happening a lot, but I'm telling our guys, be professional, keep fighting, keep going for the next one. But until when? For how long? You've been around a while. I mean, when a coach really takes, I don't know if you, if I would let you know, but Darko really came in here, really was very hard on the officials. And when a coach, you know, is willing to take a fine like that and really speak up, what, uh, how, does, how do players react to something like that? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, it just says that you know, um, you know, he's all for us. You know, he's all for us as a as a family, as a team. Um, you know, we're always gonna stick together. Um, you know, we're always gonna be behind one another, and he's always been behind us since day one coming in here. Um, and he's gonna continue to fight for us, and you know, we love Darko to death. Um, you know, we uh, we definitely thank the world of coaching, and we appreciate you know him you know going to bat for us. Um, you know, but you know, this was a tough game for us. You know, um, you know, things happen towards the towards the end of games and throughout the you know course of games, and you know um, calls are made, calls are missed. You know, it happens. You know, and we just got to move on to the next one. What was, what was your game plan, I guess, by committee against Davis? Yeah, uh, just like you said, just by committee. Um, you know, obviously, um, him and Bron's gonna have the ball in their hands 80, 90 percent of the time. So, you know, um, you know, a lot of shots is gonna go up. You know, a lot of opportunities for them. And, you know, for us, it's just about just playing basketball. Um, but, you know, um, I think, you know, for us, you know, it's just uh, we had a, a few miscues and, you know, a few balls that didn't go our way. Dad, when you think about just the level of preparation that you still put in every single day and then to have this moment um, that you seize and take advantage of, um, what does that discipline look like for you at this point of your career? Um, just you know, next man mentality. Um, no matter how, you know, or what the situation is, just always be ready. Um, just always have that next man mentality. Um, you know, when you know Yaka goes down, you know, um, you know your numbers called. You got to just be ready. And you know, I put in a lot of time, a lot of preparation each and every day. Um, you know, with our play groups and you know, playing with the coaches and, and playing with other guys on the team, uh, and just making sure that you know I'm always going to be there as a leader and be vocal. And, you know, just going out there and just making sure that, you know, I'm helping my team, you know, as much as possible and, and doing it to the best of my abilities. But seizing a moment and opportunity, you know, I've been around a long time, so I understand exactly, you know, what that means and I understand how to go out there and do it. I mean, I know that you're locked into the game, game plan, all of that, but on the human side of things, is there any parts of you that knows that you're going up against LeBron James for the 40th time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you're not sitting there like, dang, I've been here a minute. Yeah, was like, the first thing I said was like, I was like oh, shit. <laughs> like, I get to start against uh, Anthony Davis and, and LeBron. It's, it's a, 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 a heck of a start, right? But, um, you know, I'm, I'm all for the battle. 
you know, I'm all for, I'm a warrior and, you know, I've been doing this for years, like I said, you know, over a thousand games played just like those guys. So, you know, it's just a matter of just going out there and just continuing to battle and continuing to be a leader and continuing to fight. Um, just what type of value does, you know, IQ bring, not just on the court, but when you see him skipping, um, <laughs> and now you got the whole bench skipping, what type, what does that do? Is this, positive, is this positivity um, contagious? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, you know, for them, you know, um, those guys found uh, new life coming to our team and uh, coming from a, a situation that they probably seen as difficult, and now they're in a, a different situation where they have more of opportunity in their season at the moment. Uh, RJ and IQ have done a really good job of coming in and getting acclimated to our system and just playing. Um, and that's what I always preach to both of them: just play basketball and you know, just make sure that you know you're taking advantage of the moments and. They've been doing a really good job of that. But, you know, IQ brings a lot to the game. You know, he's a, a very, very good, solid, solid guard, and he knows how to go out there and play. He's going to make shots, and he's going to put us on his back sometimes, you know, in games. And, you know, we're going to have other players that's going to do the same thing. What have you been able to see from Scotty? I mean, obviously, it's not the first time that he's played the Lakers, but <coughs> you, you go up against a guy like LeBron who doesn't shrink in the moment, and then you have a game like this that requires Scotty to not shrink in the moment. Um, how have you seen that edge to Scotty develop over your time with him? Scott is going uphill. I mean, you know, he's he's developing into you know what we all think Scotty can be, and he's showing it each and every night. You know, he's worked on his jump shot. He's gotten better at that. He's making him at a high high clip. He's getting downhill. He's punishing guys. He's rebounding the basketball. He's blocking shots like. Like he's all over the all over the court, and he's done you know a heck of a job in putting us on his back night after night, um, you know, with the other guys, and you know, but you know he's he's that type of player, you know, he's he's that a high level player um, going into superstar mode, you know, I, I see it for him, um, and he's continuing to work, and he's a very very smart individual. He has a, a high basketball IQ. He knows how to play basketball, and that's what you love about him that. He knows how to play basketball. He doesn't just have the physical attributes, but he has the brain to go with it as well. Just following up on what you said in terms of you know IQ and, and RJ to kind of break new life into this team, do you feel like you know the rest of the, the guys responding to like their presence or their energy? I don't know what it, what it, you want to quantify it as. Um, have you seen them step up as well just because of I don't know maybe this change? Uh, I mean, I think they're just playing basketball. I think we're all just playing basketball. Like we're still in the process of like figuring certain things out. Like obviously, like me being inserted with the the starting unit, we have we have some things to figure out as well. But uh, for the most part, I think you know we are doing very well, and we are going out there and doing the things that we need to do. Um, you know, those guys. You know, like I said, they found new life coming here, and you know they're playing at, at a super high level uh, each and every night. And we're going to continue to need that, uh, you know, throughout the course of this season. And uh, I think they're more than capable of doing it and doing better.